I think it's a good idea to refresh the the topic of dream and its meaning and symbolism of it because it was widely studied back maybe a hundred years ago when psychoanalysis was fresh, but afterwards I believe it kind of decreased and people have kind of forgotten about it. So I think it's a good choice to discuss about it. Um, now the question is, where do I begin with the dream? Uh, well, before I ask your question, I, I'll just briefly give a broad idea, broad input uh, with regards to dreams so that people at least get some grip of understanding what we're even talking about. Um, well, first of all, I would probably begin with the fact that dream itself, the topic, is a very broad realm. It's a very wide uh, topic, sujet. There is mm -hmm. no direct, clear pathway. There, there, There is no answer, direct answer to what is dream and why do we dream about it. There's there are multiple in interpretations with regards to it. Um, the concept itself, um, which has been widely interpreted, can be, first of all, found in many, many kinds of literature, such as mythology, fables, uh, stories, poems. Uh, perhaps a famous uh, poem you might have known, Homer, on Iliad, mm -hmm. where um, various dreams are, are, are sent upon different people. Um, what does it mean? What, what, what do these dreams even mean? Are they somehow correlated to reality? Are they not? Is it just a made up thing? Can you predict future? And so on and so forth. So those were sort of the first, uh, I would say perhaps the Greeks were one of the first people, maybe I'm mistaken, maybe there were certain other people, maybe, maybe in the Babylonic times, there were people who interpreted in the Egyptian times, but I think the Greeks were one of the first ones who have perhaps, I'm using the term scientific loosely because it's not entirely scientific, but I would say the first scientific method of the dream analysis in the, in the Greek ancient times. Uh, for example, we see uh, one notable philosopher was Artemidorus. I believe he came from Egypt. Have, uh, he also studied in in uh, Athens, in Greece, for a very long time. He even interpreted different dreams for, uh, perhaps you might know, Alexander the Great, uh, who predicted the dream that he would take the city of Tyre, for example, and he did indeed. What does that mean now? Was it just a coincidence or was that even real? We'll find out later. Um, and of course, uh, Ar Aristotle, Plato, and many other philosophers have interrogated this question, what does it mean to dream, and so on and so forth. Uh, now we're talking about the ancient times. If we move forward past medieval times, there were also notable philosophers and perhaps psychologists or just philosophers because psychologists didn't really exist. And I think one of the reasons why psychology didn't really progress is because religion held all notable answers for psychological phenomena, which was probably a big obstacle for psychology as a scientific realm itself. But um, so I think it's better to move on to the 19th and 20th century, which was actually the time when first psychologists appeared and when first psychologists or people began to actually study in a scientific way what 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 is the constitution of the dream and its symbolism. Uh, and I would probably note Sig Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung for that matter, because those are the two biggest sources that we can rely on. Of course, there are other people such as Nietzsche and other uh, notable philosophers, Kierkegaard with his concept of an an anxiety, if we're talking about psychology as a whole. Um, but now when we're talking about the dream itself, uh, Sigmund Freud was probably the first, one of the biggest influential psychologists with regards to dreams. He wrote mm -hmm. uh, the famous book, Interpretation of Dreams, where he, in a detailed manner, described the process of, of, the, of the dream and its own latency and its own particularities for that matter. Um, and he also mentioned one of the 
for stimuli for uh, the reasons why we dream 